Hello, I am Dr. Tanushri Mukherjee. I am working as a full-timer neonatologist and pediatrician in Cloud9 Malad. Neural tube defect is one of the most common uh, birth defect in the babies that affecting the developing brain, the spinal tissue as well as the spinal column. That happens very early in the pregnancy, around 3 to 4 weeks of pregnancy. And most of the time, if the pregnancy is unplanned, the woman doesn't even know that she is pregnant. We can classify neural tube defects in two ways, uh, the open neural tube defect or the closed neural tube defect, depending on whether the neural tissue is exposed from outside or not. On open neural tube defect, the most common is spina bifida. Here, there is a protrusion from the lower part of the vertebral column from a defect and through that, either the meninges or part of the spinal tissue can be uh, protruded. The second most common is the anencephaly. But this is the most severe form of neural tube defect. Here, the part of the skull and the brain tissue is absent and most of the time, the and babies who have anencephaly, they are not compatible with the life. So the babies either die inside the utero or immediately post delivery. Third common is the encephalocele. Here, the part of the brain tissue is protruded just below vertebra or in the back of the neck. The closed neural tube defect, as the name suggests, is covered with a membrane or some skin tissue or epithelium. Here, from outside, we can see a tuft of uh, hairs or there may be some swelling over that area or sometimes there may be some hemangioma or dilated blood vessels that we can see. These are the neurocutaneous markers or signatures that the baby can have. Sometimes even the gluteal fold can be abnormally placed. 